Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Final Fantasy VI. Uh, we are here in the cave just north... Uh, not straight north, that's not how directions work. Just northwest of South Figaro. Get ready to head back through, heading up towards uh, Narsh. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You've been around. Thanks for watching. Let's jump in this cave. Well, let's have a random battle. Then we'll jump inside of this cave. Um, these should be easy. There we go. Easy enough. I've done a bunch of leveling. Um, so that, as you know, if you've watched me play other role-playing games, I tend to do a bunch of off-screen leveling with characters so that we can get through... Uh, sections. Uh-oh. What was that? Um. I honestly don't remember what happens in this cave. Um, I tend to do a lot of leveling off-screen so that we can run through the story sections together. Because otherwise you would watch me just play for... I want to say that I've been leveling maybe a half hour or so. Uh, with them, uh, and you would just watch me. What is going on in this cave? But I mean, you would just watch a bunch of random battles. Which, if you want me to record my leveling with no commentary, if you just want some, you know, Final Fantasy action in the background, maybe that's something I could do. I just don't know. Without the commentary, I'm not being transformative. And, uh, we all know how that goes. But, let's take a look here. We got a little bit of poison. Uh, we should have a ton of, uh, antidotes. Good to go. No problems there. At all. What is that noise? I don't know. Oh no, I do remember what's coming up. Oh, it just came back. That's why I like playing these retro games. Because I'll have like that childhood memory of like, huh? If I remember correctly, aren't we about to fight like a super, like an evil motorcycle man? Like an evil guy on a motorcycle just in the cave? I could be misremembering. Uh, it has been a long time since I've played this game. Uh, but I think we might be about to do that. So let's, uh, heal up. Huh? Something's coming out of the wall. Maybe not a motorcycle. It's like a digging machine. Yeah, tunnel armor. But it looks like a motorcycle. I mean, come on. Tunnel armor? I'll draw its magic attack. It won't hurt us. Come again? I can simply absorb the attack with my runic blade. Are you sure you'll be okay? Just you watch. All right, so if we use a runic, because she's a runic knight, when the enemy casts a spell, she'll absorb it into her sword. Uh, luckily, he's decided to attack. I wonder if it'll give us like a, hey, this is about to happen cue. All right, had an air lancet, didn't have anything else. He casts fire, we absorb it, and she heals instead of taking damage. How awesome. Now, if only we had put the Genji Glove on lock uh, instead of her, we could do a lot more damage. But that what's, that's what makes Celis great, is that because she's a runic knight, she can do that and, you know, keep you from getting magic to death, which is pretty awesome. Gets a little bit of healing. Who doesn't love you some healing? I'm trying to figure out what the symbol is on the front of tunnel armor. Is that like a skull or is that just a red accent? I can't tell. There we go. Get out of here, evil boss. Yeah! Darn, we're good. Got an elixir, a little bit of money. It's all good. Woo! 
Looks like we're in the clear. Is that... No. That's the end of their scenario. <coughs> well, it went fast because I did all the leveling. Um, let's go ahead and let's grab Sabin. What dire fate has befallen Sabin, who fell from the raft after the fight with Ultros? He didn't just fell. He, he got killed. Well, he did fall through the he got kicked into the air. Oh! Oh, God, I love this game. Okay, uh, we're going to do a save. It's just all coming back to me here. Uh, and so we're here on the... Uh, we're here, and there's a little, little house. I wonder what's in here. Oh, hey, it's Shadow. In a green military dude. You on a journey? I got separated from my friends. Say, can you tell me how to get to Narsh? Imperial soldiers have built a base somewhere beyond the forest. Already? They seem to have their sights set on Doma Castle. So Doma's next, huh? I have to reach Narsh immediately. Your only hope is through Doma. I'll show you the way. Just know that I may take off at any time if I feel like it. Welcome a partner? Sure! The Reaper is always just a step behind me. Alright! So we get Shadow, who is a ninja. Uh, does it show it here if we look? No, it doesn't give us his name. Um... <clears throat> or like their class or whatever. So Shadow though is a ninja and he has the throw ability. So you can buy ninja stars and stuff and he can throw them. He can also throw weapons. Um, so which you lose the weapon, but it can do massive damage. Um, we will not be throwing the Ultima Sword or anything like that uh, in this game. Hello. Hey. You, the clockmaker? I've been waiting for ages. Uh, no, I'm not the clockmaker. There it is on the wall. Ain't been ticking for one, five, shucks, maybe even ten years. Uh, okay. Where was that? Where? I don't see anything on the wall. I don't see a clock. Oh. Whew. No child could be this mischievous. Child? Ain't no child around here. Boulder Dash! I'm ready for you to leave. Go on, get! I'm tossing you out onto the veldt! Um, I'd rather take a stick in the eye than deal with that guy again. Hello. Howdy! I own the dry goods business out here. You're not from these parts, huh? Well, no matter. Let's see the goods. So, we've got some armor we need some more of. We've got shurikens, which are something you can throw. Invisible and shadow edge. So shuriken is something we can throw. This makes you transparent, so you can turn yourself invisible. That's cool. This makes an illusion on the person using the throw command. And then we have some more sprint shoes. Let's just, we're just gonna keep buying extra sprint sho shoes um, because we can. So we bought the plumed hat for our uh, our buddy there, but we're gonna go ahead and we also need to buy a bunch of shuriken because they're just useful. So oh, you, oh, we already have one. So we're gonna buy 98 shuriken. Uh, let's buy an extra two tents. Three tents is fine. Um, and then we have plenty of tonic. Hey, let's refill our tonic stores. There we go. So that way we are uh, set up for the uh, for the belt. Um, so we'll be able to see what we can do. Oh, sorry. Just had to see. I thought I had an important phone call. It was not an important phone call. See you around. 
So let's go ahead and equip Shadow. Better equipment. A buckler. The plumed hat. You know, he could throw. Did we get our relics back? No. So our relics are still on the other people. I think in the... Um, I think in the newer versions of this game, I do believe that they give you... That worked. Um, I do believe that there is some kind of, like, auto on equip. Oh, oh, man. I want him to come back. I want to buy just some extra sprint shoes so we have more in the party. Um, I believe there's a button to, like, on equip relics or on equip your party. Welcome. Need anything? What do you have? Um, I just want to buy some extra sprint shoes. Yeah, why not? Uh, why don't we buy some of these in case I want more? Um, I probably will never use them. Let's spend all our money. Why not? I can always get more money. Alright, so. We need to make our way on the Velt is where we are. So, it looks like if we look at the map, to the left we have ocean. We can't really go there. But to the right and down, I see a, a white dot. So that's where we're going to head. Uh, which means we'll have to try and cross a little, little bridge here. I don't know how tough we are to the enemies. We'll see how tough we are here. So if we do a blitz, and if we do just a, an attack, regular attack. Okay. We're pretty tough. We're tough enough. Got some wooded areas here. Ooh, some stray cats and some grasshoppers. Oh, he has been enraged. Crazy. So you see here, here's the scary thing. You might accidentally throw something important, so you have to be careful. But if we throw a shuriken, Let's just do a shuriken attack so people can see. Oh yeah! Hit him with them there, ninja stars. And you just see that? Our little doggy. Aw, oh, get him, buddy. Um, so Shadow has his little puppy with him, his dog. And uh, sometimes the dog will block an incoming attack and then rush out and kill whoever was there. I don't think there's anything up here, but I just want to look. Okay, there is a passage down there to the right, but I think I'm going to try and go to this, the white dot down to the left. Uh, and... Just some regular fighting. I think between the pummel effect and this, um, I can't remember his suplex. It's been a, uh, is it down, up, X, Y? No, I gotta look it up. Uh, it's been a little bit of time. Uh, life continues to go on in the background, so it's been a little bit of time, about a week since I've had a chance to play. So we are just a little bit rusty on the blitz commands and plus we haven't been able to use the bit all through the last last leveling and everything um so what's the input for it is x y down up x y down up now let's make our way down here There we go. Take that, buddy. Who doesn't like suplexing a bird? Later on, we might get to suplex something even bigger. That's why I want to practice it so I'm ready to do it when it comes up.
<laughs> it's the best part of the game. Well, there's other cool things too, but... I just want to get the muscle memory down of doing that with him. So it does do a massive amount of damage. We have to go out here? No, you can't even go that way. Weird. Oh, there's a little bridge. Okay. Oh, an Imperial camp. This is an Imperial base. Too many soldiers. Hey, have you heard? Oh, you mean... Shh, quiet down. If Kafka catches us, we're toast. If he drives General Leo out of our battalion, he'll probably become the next general. Don't make me laugh. If someone like him becomes a general, I'll go home. Shh. What if he hears you? You'll be jailed. All right, all right. Uh-oh. Here he comes. Back to the waiting zone. Hey, you! You keeping a sharp lookout? Yes, sir. You're Kafka, correct? How are you, sir? Please, save your petty small talk. Just do your job. Phew. Someone's got to put that guy away. I'd like to tell him to his face he's no General Leo. Shh. Do I always have to tell you to keep it down? You're hopeless. I hate that weirdo, Kefka. I don't even think he's human. Not like General Leo. Agreed. You two, we're about to storm Doma Castle. You will join the assault team. Attack! Get him, guys! <laughs> it's hopeless. We can't keep them out. So, it's finally happening. A moment, sir! Allow me the honor. Faithful retainer to his family's liege with the courage and strength of a hundred men. He is Cyan. If we can fail their commander, they'll surely give up. Let us give it a try. Sir Cyan, let their commander have it. So Cyan, he's a swordsman. He can use the sword tech skill. And the way sword tech works is that you um, basically have to wait for a gauge to fill up. And of course, because of the active time battle system, as you're waiting for the gauge to fill up, you're allowing the enemy to have more time to put in attack commands and to complete those attacks. So that's the trade-off for his skill. Let's go. He doesn't have any magic, does he? No. I wondered why it showed him with a magic skill. Let's get this guy! I am Cyan, retainer to the King of Doma. I am your worst nightmare. Oh yeah! All right, let's use some Quadra Slam on this guy. So we gotta wait for this to fill. And so we're gonna get attacked probably in extra time. But once it's four, we enter it, and we can do the Quadra Slam. I am so awesome. Look at that. Oh, we got a black belt. The general's been defeated. Run! 
Walled up in there, we can wait out our enemy. Ooh, we're being sneaky as a ninja. I like it. I should have put him in the front to begin with. Uh, let's do a little healing. So we've got a soldier on the left. We probably don't want to be seen by him. So let's go right. Hello, doggy. Aw. Ooh, that's a cool effect. Ugh, the top won't open. Kick it, hit her, uh, kick it. Ouch. Oh no, a sentry. It's just a single set of Doberman. We can handle this. Especially if we suplex the Doberman. That's what I'm talking about. Man, he has got the blocks. I wonder what the targeting algorithm it uses for the the blitz attacks. Because he attacked the same the same monster there. I should look that up just so I know better like who he's going to attack with those skills. Oh, the last one ran away. Alright, so um took a little bit of damage. That's why we load up on tonics. Ah, we got a star pendant. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we got that guy there. Can I sneak in from this side? Can I... Oh, I'll just fight him. Who cares? I think we're okay. Oh, he did a counterattack. Sneaky devil. Nothing there. Is there nothing in this tent? That was for nothing. Terrible. Uh, what's to the left? Is there anything up here? Oh. No, that just leaves. Okay. <laughs> so we need to go this way. General Leo, the citizens of Doma seem to be playing a waiting game. So that's their strategy. General, we're ready to take the castle. Just give the order. Patience. If we attack now, we'll have to sacrifice too many lives. But General, I'm ready to lay my life down at any time for the Empire. You're from Miranda, right? Yes, sir. Why? And your family lives there? Fall in battle and I'll have to deliver the bad news. What shall I say to them? You have a life to go back to someday. Don't throw it all away for nothing. Emperor Gestal wouldn't want that. Yes, sir. General Leo! A carrier pigeon from Emperor Gestal! What? The Emperor summons me. I must return immediately. I understand, sir. Right. I'll leave Doma in your hands. Yes, sir. Okay. Just don't jump the gun, please. Sir, leave it to us, sir. Right. So that's General Leo. He could be my friend if he weren't my enemy. Um. Oh. 
now that Leo's gone, I'll turn this water into a flowing river of poison. The Emperor has ordered me to return home. I don't want any trouble here. You loser! I'll take care of this situation in no time! Don't be pompous, and don't forget that they are people, just like you and me. We need not spare those lands that gave rise to the Returners. You just go and be a good little boy. <laughs> is the poison ready? But General Leo said... He is no longer here. I am in charge now. Pour it! Some of our people are prisoners inside the castle. If we poison the river... Do it! Take them all out! That's inhuman! Huh? Silence! Your history, Bob! Alright, well, let's uh, throw a shuriken at you, buddy. Youch! Kefka! Wait! Wait, he says! Do I look like a waiter? Wait! We have to loot over here before we talk to you again. No treasure chests. Okay, we're good. Anything down here? It's important to check for treasure. Wait! No, that's a Magitek armor right there. Let's see. Nothing here. Look, you don't get a lot of chances. I don't think you get to come back here ever again. If I remember correctly. So, double check. Aha! The Mithril Glove. Monster in a box! A Telstar? Aww! I think we'll be okay. How hard is that hit? That's pretty rough. Um, use one of our potions here. Man. I think we can get away with one more shuriken. And then we'll have to heal us a bit again. An alarm's ringing. Oh, okay. So, okay, now that we've killed him, we can definitely take a couple soldiers. That's easy enough. Ooh, got a green beret? A hundred men will test today, but only five make the Green Beret? I can't remember the lyrics to that song. It's a great song. Uh, okay, so put the Green Beret on him. Uh, what is this relic we just got? Um, Cast safe. Oh, so when your hit point gets low, you get like a heal spell on you. Um, yeah, let's swap that out for the Mithril Glove. I'm down with that. As long as we keep our sprint shoes on somebody, we're fine. Pardon me the cough. A little bit of a dry throat going on there today. All right, Kefka, now that we've looted that chest. Ha ha ha! What a toad! Uh, no, we're gonna try this. I wanna suplex him. 
Got him! <laughs> Ouch! Kefka! Wait! <laughs> wait, he says. Do I look like a waiter? When you use the same joke twice, you're really cool. And I approve. Huh? How long do you expect me to put up with you? Next time you're a goner! Alright. We got this. Oh! Oh, gripe! Hey, if you know what's good for you! Just a couple Templars and a soldier. We can handle this. Especially when we can suplex them. Oh! We got this! There we go. Uh-oh. Hee hee hee! Nothing can beat the music of hundreds of voices screaming in unison! Hee hee hee! He's getting your Waluigi voice. Hee hee! In fact, that's where he's at. Oh, Sir Cyan! The Empire's base is bustling with activity. Something must be up! Huh, the water looks odd. Well! That's a bad place to fall. I fell in the water. Sir Cyan! This is poison! What, what low down contemptible? Guard our liege. To the king! On the double! But we don't have any sprint shoot, actually. This is why we buy extra sprint shoes. <laughs> to the king! On the double! Right, the king's room is near. Your Highness, fear not! Who's there? Cyan, Excellency! Indeed, my sight is going fast. Can't see a thing. Excellency, hang on. Cyan, you have defended the realm since my father's days. <coughs> Thank you. It's over. Our kingdom is through. Not yet, Highness. I fear for your family. Ah, chest is on fire. Save your strength. Don't talk. Go. Run to your family. <coughs> Highness! Sir Cyan! There have to be some survivors in the castle. Let's split up. Aww. And we get the cool Doma Castle music. Highness. Now I am king! That's, sorry. Uh, okay, so what's over here? <gasps> Elaine, wake up! <clears throat> this, this can't be happening. <gasps> oh, Wayne, 
Not you too. Son, you can't both leave me. D dear me. Impossible. Idiotic. We can't forgive this. The Empire must pay. I am Cyan, retainer to King Doma. The enemy! Get ready, everyone! Huh? Is there any tents to loot up here? That guy's a sitting duck! Gotta help him fast! May I give you a hand? Thank you. Whoever, whoever you are! I can't say the word whomever, apparently. Let's show him with a suplex. Or just let him do his trick. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is too much. Let me have it. What a mess. Be careful, sir. We got this. Get a little bit of gold. Ugh. Who released this poison? I mean, I'd be upset too. Look. We're gonna have to do this together. The thought had occurred to me as well. Does he have a pair of Geji gloves on? He's getting two attacks. I don't know if Cyan just attacks twice, or if, um, get him, dog! Um, <laughs> 1,200 damage. That's good. Thank you, kind sir. Allow me to thank you. I am Sabin from Figaro. Now let's scram! But what of my home, my family, my friends? Look! If we stick around here any longer, we'll have a regiment of troops down our throats. Got him! Over here! Who boy! I have a great idea. Come over here! Sir Sabin, what on earth are these? I'll explain later. Relax, just climb in. <laughs> Sir Sabin, how might these abominations be manipulated? I'm getting sick of this. Thou art such a pain in the... Confound it all, I'm starting to talk like you. Now listen, just use those levers located by your hands. Oh, Sir Sabin, it is I who was in your debt. Forget it. Come now. Hey, what are you doing? We can't stop now! Then let's just burst through. All right. Let's, uh, get him healed up. Why not? End of the line. I don't think so, buddy. What is a single match attack armor going to do to us? Nothing. There's nowhere to run. Let's 
750 healing. It's pretty nice. I just like the bolt beam effect. Ow! Right in the face! You jerk! Take 1100 points of damage, buddy. Got some tonics. Refill our tonic storage. This is not where I'm supposed to go. I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm supposed to go here and go down. I like how they've got these generators, like, fueling up the Magitech armor. That's pretty cool. Oh, I don't go here. Oh, I guess I go back this way. I guess I do go this way. Who said anything about running? Got him! I like the, the Magitech enemy sprite. Looks so awesome. So good looking. Oh, okay, I can get around him. Can't believe we've made it this far. Say, how do we get to Narsh from here? Narsh, eh? Only one route. Through the forest to the south. All right, it's decided. Let's get going. So we have to head off to the forest to the south is our next goal. That is what we will do on the next episode of Gaming with Grub. Until then, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon.